Hey everyone, Brooks with Bex here. Today, I'm super excited to be taking a closer look at this Red Team Warthog Rescue Set from Mega, or Mega Constructs. They've rebranded now. Um, this is just an amazing set. I never thought I'd get this, especially since I heard it was a Walmart exclusive. Since the Walmarts near me don't usually have many um, Mega Construct sets, especially Halo ones. Um, it's got, you can make it the flame version or the normal version, the normal cannon or the Gauss cannon. Gauss. Not really sure how you say that. Halo Infinite branding on the side or Halo Universe with Halo Infinite Chief. Another picture of the set. Um, some nice art over here on this side. Halo Universe again. Some words. Well, the name of the set in different languages. Um, suspension system and some other sets that have recently been revealed. I am just so excited to take a look at this. I didn't think I'd find it. Here's Red Team on the top, which is just crazy that we're getting all three of them in one set because they're so expensive to find before this set was announced. And yeah, let's take a closer look. Another thing to note is that this has one of the newer style boxes where you don't have to damage it. It's like a pizza box. And got bag two here. Bag one, which has all our figures. Bag four. Bag three. And bag five. This kind of feels like a waste of packaging. But, um, oh, here's the instruction manual. And here's a better look at the elephant sand nest next to it. I believe you can fit this set inside the elephant. Um, there's the Falcon Suite and the Banshee, the newer Banshee. Oh, one of the newer Halo Heroes. Hopefully I'll get to do a review in the near future of all of these sets. First I, fin I finished building the Plane Warthog because I want to keep it as the flame one. But um, this one's got some nice suspension, a swiveling turret. This is the standard turret, there's a Gauss turret too. On the back there's some really nice detail, you got the stop lights and the fender. The suspension is really interesting because it's a lot different from the one on the Warthog Rally, the Halo Infinite version, which was my first Warthog. The seats are gray, um, the steering wheel spins, and on the front we have this little like sensor thing and the plastic version of the um, the the winch system. So nice detail on the wheels. Again, this rolls as you'd expect. Um, I really like the interior. You got some handles. I'll show you what the figures look like inside once I make the um, the flame version, the flame hog. Um, I'll show you what this one looks like with the um, the Goss turret. Here's that turret by itself. This is what it looks like without the turret. And then. If I can get this to go on here, there's the Goss turret. Um, can't really get a good angle of that. There you go. Looks pretty good. Um, I do definitely like the flame version better, so I'm going to build that up real quick, and I'll be right back, and then I'll show you the figures. I finished rebuilding it, and now we have the nice flame paint job on there. Um, I love the yellow. And the orange accents are very nice for the flames. And one thing I don't understand was like with this piece right here, why didn't why did they just print it instead of having it be fully yellow? Um, also like this one right here, right there. But it looks wonderful. And um, let's put those figures in there. Now this looks good. We've got all three members of Red Team, which you'll get a closer look at in a second. Well, there's another thing that's a little bit fragile. We've got all three members in there. Um, got Douglas right here, Jerome, and Alice on the cannon. Um, I think they look great in this vehicle. They do blend in a little bit, and yeah. Uh, so. Well, we'll get a closer look at the figures in a second. This uses a darker windscreen than the one, the Halo Infinite one. And um, it, it's it's funny. It, it seems a little bit smaller. I think that's because it's like a little, it's a little like more bulky than the other one. It looks a little more toyish, 
but um, I don't mind that. One thing I did notice is because these are printed, there's a few scuffs on mine. Um, hopefully that's not a full-on production issue for everybody else. Because I remember on the last Flame Warthog, that was a big problem. It seems a little better here, though. Um, Alright, let's take a look at those figures. First up, we have Spartan Alice. I know that the original version of Alice was very hard to get. I forget how much it's going on the aftermarket, like on eBay right now. But this one looks great. And it looks pretty similar to the Halo Heroes one, as far as I remember. She's got the... Skull and Crossbones logo that indicates that it's Alice and not um, just Douglas because their armor otherwise is pretty similar. Got this nice helmet. Same helmet as um, Douglas. Again, both of them are pretty similar. Not the same as Jerome. Jerome has some extra detail. It's got the older Spartan leg armor and feet. The, the Halo. Oh, this is the same chest armor the Master Chief uses, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where these shoulder pads are from. I've never seen them. I didn't realize they were new until I opened this up and built the figures. But um, she's a pretty cool figure. And let's take a look at Douglas. Here is Douglas. Um, he's got really nice detailing. He's pretty similar to Ale Alice. The only thing that's different is this emblem on his shoulder. That looks to be like a falcon or something. My camera won't focus. Mm, okay, well, you can see it. Okay. He's dual wielding his SMGs, I believe. I've never played Halo Wars or Halo Wars 2, but I think he has dual SMGs. Oh, and speaking of weapons, Alice, she has a, um, she has a older style shotgun, which I prefer over the new shotguns. And both of those weapons are in black. Um... Pretty similar to Alice. This one, I think I like the emblem on Alice's shoulder better. Just because it, um, I'm not really sure actually. I just like it better. I prefer it. Um, one thing I did just notice is that Alice uses the male torso. So that shoulder, I mean that, not that shoulder, that chest, chest plate will fit even though she is a woman. Which, I wish you could use both of them on it, but I don't think it would fit. Right. Alright, let's take a look at Jerome. Last, and definitely not least, is the leader of Red Team, Spartan Jerome. Um, he has the Spartan symbol on his shoulder. He's got red markings on the top of his head and on his chest plate. He has the most printing out of all of them. He's pretty similar still. One thing I don't understand is why they gave him a gray assault rifle instead of a black one. The other two figures have black weapons. I could have sworn it was black, but when I opened it up, it was gray. Um, it's my favorite figure in the set. Um, although, he does not come with his, um, his Spartan laser that he uses in Halo Wars. But you could easily give him one. Let me find one real quick. This is not the one I was looking for, but it still works. He looks pretty good with that one. I bet he would look good with the Halo Hero Series 11 one. I kind of forgot about this, but there's this AI included of Serena. And she has this stand, too. There's nothing... Actually, there's an extra piece you can use. This one right here. Um, you could use that to put her in someone like Jerome's hand. Let's see if I can do that here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um... The only thing that I wish, the only other figure that I wish they had in this set was Atriox, so he could kick their butts. But, um, yeah. This is the Alice thing. There's not, it's kind of hard to see the detail on camera, but she's just molded in two colors and has this stand. Well, there you have it. This is the Red Team Warthog Rescue. Um, this is an outstanding set. This is the first set that I've gotten with the new Mega branding, and I think it looks really good. I think I like the design of the Halo Infinite Warthog better, but the customization and value for the set is a lot better than that one, especially because you get all of Red Team instead of just some Jackals, One Marine, and Master Chief, which we get a lot. I like how you can interchange the cannons. What I don't understand is they made 
this cannon gray instead of green like the other one. And if you just want to build the the flame hog, you get some nice extra pieces too. Um, overall, I think you should pick this stat up. And I am very fortunate to have found it. I did not think I would be able to find it because normally the Walmart near me do not carry Mega Constructs. Um, anyways, this has been another review with Bricks with Bex. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.